This is our tiny house in the woods. It's a small house, no bigger than 50 square meters. We do not live here permanently, but large part of the year we do. It's situated at the beginning of a meadow, at the edge of a forest. It is quiet, the air is clean, and it's really dark at night. Our living room overlooks the meadow. It's like a cinema on the first rank. We are in the middle of nature. And this is our view. You will see it often in this movie. At first glance, you might say, oh, green desert, some conifers at the horizon. But only if you look long enough, many things happen. Every day is different, breathtaking. Take, for instance, the light. The morning sun can light the living in gold. It can be silver, grayish white. Have a copper glow. It can be pitch black at daylight. Deep red. Purple. Bright orange. All colors of the rainbow. Indigo blue. Tolkienesque. Yes, even pink. But of course, all colors green. We have named it Villa View. set up a trail cam pointing to the meadow. On a hot late summer day in September you can see the plants sighing along with the rotation of the sun, but when the shadows lengthen and the night falls, skittish creatures come to visit the camera, a rhubarb. Mother fox with her young. But who is always there is the fox. It is as if he patrols the meadow, from front to back, left to right, always on the lookout for something edible. Secretly, we sometimes leave food for him in front of the camera. A cold mouse, some leftover bones. And he knows that, and that's why he comes. We have never seen him in daylight though. In the early morning, before sunrise, our camera finds less skittish animals. Like these playful rabbits. Or a blackbird. And even a gigantic lazy hare. A thrilled rubak. And sometimes, in the early spring, you can see the female deers across the meadow. They have just had their baby and they're hungry, so they drop their guard just a bit. Although we think this deer has lost her baby, because the farmer mowed the grass where it was hiding. For days, she kept on looking and calling. By now, 
You have probably already spotted our bird feeder, but you are not the only mammal to have done so. Another one also finds its way in, the squirrel. We have made a special feeder stacked with his favorite food, hazelnuts. He is the only one around bright enough to understand the trick, head in, net out. Goldtith tries it, but he doesn't get it. Permanent residents of the meadow are the Chorolet cows. Twelve months per year they graze on the grassland. The owner leaves them alone, letting them do their cow things year round. We often think, if you are a cow, then here would be a good spot. Curious animals they are. When they are so close, you can smell their grassy breath. Someone we also see every day, the king of the sky, the buzzard. Warming in the morning sun, patiently waiting till the moment he spots something moving, and off he goes. Mighty creature. Regular visitors, blackbirds, robins, finches and tits. Like a snack bar, our bird feeder is busy from early morning until late at night. They have become so tame, they approach us very closely. They even join for lunch. Less frequent visitors are the little spotted woodpecker, the black woodpecker, who we only hear shrieking in the woods, and sometimes a blue heron. And since a couple of years, we also have a new king, the raven. In the highest treetop, on the other side of the meadow, you can clearly hear him call, Croc, croc, croc. This spring, we dug up a pond in our garden. It was a lot of work, but worth the effort. Now we have enough to water our plants and we gained a whole new ecosystem. Water fleas, water beetles, and eventually brown and green frogs. And we have also spotted the final boss, grass snake. Bad news for the frogs. And there are more great creatures that wander around our tiny house. You can spot them at dawn. Bats. They are not easy to capture for the camera, as they move extremely fast and unpredictable, but in slow motion, unmistakably, bat. Kijk, wat dan is er beneden geval bij ons. Twee echt hele grote hoornaars. En het vechten met z'n tweeën, dus waarschijnlijk twee koninginnen. Ze hebben niet eens in de gaten dat ze gevangen zijn. Zo agressief zijn ze tegen elkaar. Nou, ik denk dat ik ze gewoon laat zitten hier. Sometimes things also die right under our window. Our lemon geranium died of one night frost. Our tomatoes. One night frost. An old 
old squirrel, probably run over by a car, an unfortunate deer, badly shot by poachers, died at night right under our window. We often walk in the woods at night. It is pitch black, but we have a bright flashlight. And it is less spooky since we are together. Luckily, our tiny house is never far away. And thus, we have spent our days here, in the woods, with a small kitchen garden and a panoramic view of the beautiful, serene, natural environment. But we are going on a new adventure, an adventure of a lifetime. We are going to leave this house, step into our camper van and search for a new and warmer place to spend our days. Stay tuned, soon on our channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>